Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is a quick showcase of what's following and what I have been doing. So as you see, this is a, we call them Thailand fighting fish or fighting fish. That probably will be the next tutorial. Could be two part. First, we have to make this lovely, lovely fish. Then we have to animate that. So let's first take a look at this fish. How many detail you can get. As you see, you can get this scale and you can color that and then you get this all oh, this tail it's very realistic and uh, many details you can form that as you wish so you can make very many different type of this kind of fish and it's very beautiful and it's basically using geometry you know with little bit of modeling for this um, basic form of this fish but all this cloth like tail is all driven by geometry node the shape is also coming from the geometry node so that's very exciting that I would like to share with you in the following tutorial and it's even beautiful in the cycle but uh, for the recording purpose I will using Eevee because in the cycle it will be a little bit laggy and let's take a look how he animate so as you can see all this tail are very realistic of course shout out to bbbn19 this animate setup is built based on his fish animate tutorial i wouldn't say upgrade but uh, just um, a little bit more customization for what i need so it will perform a little bit better especially this animation is following a curve and with some noise so you can control the way it moves it's not like a randomly swim you can change between random and uh, following the curve so you can basically guide the fish yeah so super beautiful don't you think very exciting although the frame rate is about 10 but i think i'm very happy with the performance because it's very detailed and I'm recording and I'm not using very powerful computer. I would like to share this with you guys in the following tutorial. And enough of that, let's see what else I'm been working on. So this is Meshbrush V2 and I have posted on my social media. If you guys want to see what I'm been working on between video and I will like to post on my social media so you will get the first idea what could be next. So what about V2? Why I have to make V2? It's because this effect is very important for me because the mesh brush effect, it was like, a, it's the whole reason I'm making tutorial. That's the first tutorial I want to make. And I make that very early and I haven't got any equipment. I don't have good microphone. And at that time I was very new for making videos, tutorials, videos. So I think it didn't get enough of love. So I will like to do that again. And of course I make a lot of improvements for this effect. And one of the biggest improve is now the brush curve will flip very well it, it wouldn't be first v1 brush like um, you cannot control the normal so let's see what happened if I brush I have turned on the face orientation when I brush you can see there is no red so which is mean the face of the of the brush will be always correct it wouldn't be like um, before so if you can see there's a little bit red that's um, that's not a big deal just to show you there's the red but it's hidden inside so it, it means it's super correct if you have made the first mesh brush you will see what's the difference and that is very important so that's the progress and there's more about this i will teach how to animate that and um, 
and some customization. You can make uh, some random variable for each stroke. Yeah, so that's the two main thing that I've been working on. And all these two projects will be posted on my Patreon page once the video is released and it's the more advanced version. If I have post free one, that's the different one. So if you want to get the best example or best function for this effect, join my Patreon, you will get that. So as you see, what is coming is very exciting. Two very exciting tutorial. So everyone keep up the good work and see you in the future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.